Hey, I'm Jeff with Avid Max, and today we have the Rising Brookie net here. It's a pretty cool little net that has a couple of fun features. First thing you're going to notice when you pick it up is the soft rubber net that it comes with. If you're still using kind of one of those old school nets, it's time to upgrade to one of these. They're, they really are a lot nicer. This rubber material is an anti-snag material, which means as the fish is in here, not only is it not going to get its fins caught up in this nearly as easily, but as you're trying to get the hook out of the mouth either, it's not going to get caught in this material hardly at all. So that's one great reason to, to upgrade to a net like this. This net is made out of uh, anodized aluminum, and then as you can see here on the handle, they've kind of added a little bit of texture. They've knurled it a little bit here, and that's just going to make sure that as the net gets wet, you're still able to get a pretty good handle on it so that it doesn't slip out of your hand at all. One of the other fun features about this net is that it's got up here at the top a little four ounce flask to it as well. So if you're out there on the river and you finally catch that one fish that you've been going for all day, need a little bit of a celebration, or Maybe you've been trying for that one fish all day and still haven't caught him and need to pick me up. You can, uh, you can just store that right there and it's kind of a, a fun little deal. You'll also see along the edge of the net right here is a little ruler. So you're able to actually just put the fish's fin right there. And if you're taking a picture of them, um, especially one of the great things about a net is you can kind of leave the fish in the water to take that picture so that he's not getting as stressed out. You'll be able to, to put the fin there and then kind of measure where your fish comes to and that way you can prove to everybody back home that the fish really was as big as you were trying to tell them. This net itself is 28 inches long. The hoop itself is 16 inches and kind of at its widest here it's 10 inches and then tapers down a little bit. The net on this one is actually a little bit shallower than some other nets. It's only eight and a half inches deep. But the nice thing about these soft rubber nets is they're going to stretch as well. So especially as you get a fish in here, it's going to be putting a little bit of weight on that if you're picking it up much at all and it's going to stretch that out pretty nice for you. One of the other great things you can do with a net like this is just be able to slide it into a wading belt as you're out there in the river or lake wherever you happen to be. And then as you're stripping your fly line in, this can be a little basket right there and all of the fly line is just going to sit right in there. And that's going to be really helpful, especially if you're using a sinking fly line. That way you don't have to worry about it getting tangled up around your feet or hooking on a rock down there and then when a fish finally takes it and starts running, you end up snapping and losing your outfit because your fly line caught on something. Even though this is a pretty small net, sometimes you just need a net that's even a little bit smaller than this. I know a lot of times when I go out, I head out on a motorcycle and I got to try to cram all of my stuff into a saddlebag. That's one of the places where this net is actually really nice. The handle of it comes apart real easily. It's just got one little bolt here in the middle and that's all that is required to hold the hoop and the handle together. And then it goes together as easily as it comes apart. You just squeeze that together, slide the hoop back into the handle and then this bolt goes right in there. You just screw it in a little bit and then you're good to go. This net comes in a couple of different colors. We've got our, our wasabi here, which I just think is an awesome name, as well as a couple of other. They have a red and orange and a few other colors. If you're just looking for one smaller net that you know kind of has a couple of extra fun features to it, as well as is able to collapse down even smaller for those times where you're heading out and need a little bit of a tight space, I think this is going to be a great net for you. For more fly fishing and outdoor related videos, subscribe to our Avid Max YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.